Uh, tell me, Trent, yesterday up Alpe d'Huez, did you do a PB? Oh, I didn't do any PB. Well, I guess it was a PB. I've never ridden it before. <laughs> And uh, I see your heart rate there is about 70. I saw it on your Garmin. Is the Garmin so you don't get lost today? Yeah, it is. We've got all our directions on there so we know where we're going. When, when we turn next and how many climbs we've got coming up, it's all on there. All right. So just in case the Aussies take all the signs, the green arrows, you'll know where to get to the finish. Well, they take them back home to Australia, <laughs> sell on the black market. Yeah, there could be a few of them. Did you notice them out there with your flags? Oh, on there were so many. It was incredible, huh? It's nice to see that. I think most of them out there cheering for Cadell. I think there are a few of them cheering for you as well. Uh, so well done. We're very proud of you, our own Melbourne boy. Thank you. And uh, junior world mountain bike champion now racing the road. Good on you, Trent. Trent, the last time I spoke to you was at Alp d'Huez. Uh, this is a little bit different down at Forest. What are you doing here? Oh, it's quite a bit different, but it's, uh, it's a bit less stressful and more fun in some uh, ways. Are you equally as knackered after doing a forest loop as uh, after doing Alp d'Huez? Oh, uh, a different knackered, yeah. <laughs> and how long is it since you've been on the mountain bike? Well, I still ride it quite a bit, particularly in the off-season, I'd probably get on it a couple of times a week. Um, but I think the last time I was actually at a mountain bike race was maybe uh, three or four years ago, and that was another 24-hour race. So how come you're down here? What's your role? Because we don't see many Tour de France riders at the Forest 24-hour uh, race. What's my role? To have fun. I mean, I, I need to ride my bike, and uh, the more I can ride my mountain bike, I think that's a good thing. And I saw you out with the little kids there before. Yeah, that was a bit of fun. They're pretty coordinated, some of them. Yeah. For you, next season, what races are you doing the Tour de France? Yeah, at this point, if, uh, if I'm fit and healthy, I'll, I should be on the start line of the Tour. And then, uh, you know, the this, this spring in Europe, so sort of the month of April is pretty important. There's some big races in, uh, in Belgium, some one-day classics. And the spring classics? Yeah, exactly. Will so you be doing Paris-Roubaix? Not Roubaix. That's, that's not at all suited to me, but there's three others around uh, there's, uh, the Amstel Gold Race in uh, Flesh Wallonne and Liège, right. Bastogne Liège. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully we might catch you at, uh, up the Mur de Huy. Yeah, well, if you guys are going to be there. It's, uh, it's a steep one, that one, isn't it? Oh, I've not ridden it, but I understand that, yeah. <laughs> See, it's funny interviewing Trent because all these climbs that, that I've ridden over there, I interview him after he's raced them and it's his first time up them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know, I, I, hear, uh, I hear a lot about those races and they're sort of, they're high on the agenda of a lot of riders, so hopefully I can go and see what it's all about and uh, I think there's a pretty special atmosphere, you'd, you've probably seen that before, have you Emma? Oh uh, yeah, the, the atmosphere is just incredible, yeah. Anyway, we'll be cheering from the sidelines, so uh, good luck for the next season. Thank you. Uh, Trent, another question, how do you, obviously Garmin is Garmin, but is it Chipotle or? Yeah, it's Chipotle, which is... Chipotle. Uh, Chipotle, it's uh, like a, it's a Mexican sort of food chain, they make like burritos and um, and there's a there's a string of bars sort of around a, around mainly the west side of uh, the USA. All healthy food for cyclists? No it is, it's actually really healthy, it's uh, it's like rice and beans and, and sort of meats and that is very healthy, they're just like you get this whole chunk of burrito, it weighs about a kilo I think, it's probably packed with calories. So. The outfit's quite nice too and it's certainly got the best socks in the peloton. Yeah, you like the Argyle? <laughs> Uh, they are the most popular socks, and I reckon I've seen them on more people than... I think people love them or hate them. I've been told I look like I'm going for a game of golf before, but then I hear plenty of fans as well, so... Yeah. Okay, so it's Chipotle and it's healthy Mexican food, but they're not in Australia yet. Not yet.